Hello friends, welcome. So here we are in the users index in the admin page. And what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to add a table to display all the users. The same for the rules and the permissions. For that I have opened this flow byte and I'm going to copy the default table here. And let's open the VS Code. I'm not going to add directly in the user page. So here I'm going to create a component for the table. So let's say on components, new file, and I'm going to name it table.view. And let's say v setup. And on the template, I'm going to add this. Okay. Okay, now we have the table, then we have the t head, and then we have table row, table header cell, and the, down there we have a table data cell. I'm going to create a component for table row, table header cell, and table data cell. Okay, so let's go inside the components and let's create a new file, and I'm going to name it a table, or let's say table row dot view and just add a template here and inside I'm going to just add a tr and down there also we have tr but we have down there we have the class pg white and so on so just I'm going to add a tr here and inside I'm going to say a default slot like this and now let's create the table header cell so components new file table header cell dot view and also here and without template and inside i'm going to copy this class here and paste it so add so the head table header cell and okay then paste that class in and add the default slot let's save and also let's save this as a table data cell save and now on the table table data cell we have those classes here so let's copy and apply here save close now on the default table here inside the t head i'm going to remove everything and i'm going to add a slot with a name to be header and then on the body i'm going to remove everything and add the default slot inside so here at the default slot okay save close now on the users index first let's go and open the user controller because we need users here so let's add an array with users which is going to be i'm going to use the user resource collection and pass here the user model and i'm going to say all the users all static method okay save now we pass here the users probe and on the user index we need to define that probe so let's say define probes and i'm going to say users okay then let's import the components we created so import first one the table then let's import the table row also import the table header cell and the table data cell import table data cell okay with that now in this div first i'm going to add a class to be max with uh, 7xl and mx auto after the h1 i'm going to add another div with class to be margin top of uh, six okay now here i'm going to add a table and inside 
we have in the table we have two slots for this one I added so I'm going to add a template and say slot uh, header and now here let's use the table row and inside the table row the table header cell and here I'm going to say ID and then let's copy and paste for the name and also for the email and one more for the action so we need to have the edit and delete buttons then after this header slot let we have the default slot and we can add directly but i like to add the template for that just i think is more okay and is the default slot here we are inside the body so i'm going to add a table a table row and here now i'm going to add to make a v4 users so v4 user in users add a key and for key i'm going to add the user id and now inside let's add the table data cell and display the user id a copy and paste user name and now the user email and also let's copy and paste and here add just strings for edit and delete so edit and delete now is this is up to you you can add directly the table or you can say for example add the table and pass in the table directly the header for id name add the array with id name and email in action but i like this one and let's save this and see on the users and uh, why we have error go to the console and uh, yeah i I have made a mistake here, so let's rename that the table header self like this. And now, okay, now let's come here and yeah, here we have the table. All the users with ID, name, email, and then the edit and delete. Just one more thing, we need to add a border down so let's say on this table row i'm going to add a class to be border bottom and yeah now we are okay let's do the same for roles and permissions so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy all this one here and let's go in the roles role index and replace this with this one just say not users but roles index page then we need to define roles here define props for roles and let's also import the components so i'm going to copy all of them here and paste it right here and the same on the permission so let's do that because we are here and also let's define the props for permissions and let's copy the table but i'm going to copy all the div just a quick okay say here permissions and let's save now we don't have the permissions and roles and let's first let's create let's open the terminal and let's create a role resource and permission resource so i'm going to say artisan make resource role 
resource and also the permission resource. Okay, let's close this and let's open the role controller. And here now, let's use that resource. I'm going to say roles, which is going to be role resource collection. And pass in here all of the roles. So import the model from Spati and let's say all. Okay, let's open now the, let's save this and let's open the role resource. And I'm going to return here just the ID, which is going to be dollar sign this ID and the name, which is going to be dollar sign this name. Save and now let's copy this one and open the permission and return the same. Paste that, save, close close this one also and in the permission controller let's return let's pass here the permissions probe which is going to be permission resource collection and uh, add here all the permissions so import the model from spati and say all like this save close this close this one and now we are in the role index. We define props role and let's just replace the ID name. We need to remove the email. We don't have the email here. And when we have user, replace with role. Remove the email down there. Save. And also the same on the permissions. So remove the email and when we have user replace with permission and also here remove the email and let's save and let's come here and refresh go to the roles yeah go to the permissions we don't have any permission but for roles we are okay and users we are okay Okay friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.